What's up guys, PowerManX720 here and I have for you game 2 of my top 8 match versus Blitzenburst. Um, so game 1 he brought Mega Charizard Y. Um, I knew that was going to be the case game 2. I knew he was going to bring Mawile which my team has just loads of trouble with. Mawile and Aegislash and Talonflame and Mega Venusaur are the 4 Pokemon that really caused my team a lot of trouble. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see how he ends up adjusting for game 2. Um, of course the first adjustment he's going to make is bring Mawile which like I said, is an issue for me. So I end up leading Kangaskhan and Dragonite. He leads Meowstic and Ludicolo. Both very shiny. Uh, he right off the bat withdraws Ludicolo and sends in his Mawile, which gets off a beautiful little double intimidate. Um, I end up switching out, oh no I don't, just kidding. Um, <clears throat> so I Mega Evolve and I went for the Power Up Punch onto Mawile or Ludicolo spot, which is now Mawile, which doesn't really do much damage. And I also protected Dragonite because I didn't want my multi-scale to be broken from from a fake out or a, anything like that. So Mawile goes, for, sorry not Mawile, um, Meowstic goes for the Safeguard while King's Con Power Up Punches. And does pretty much no damage. I should have just doubled the Meowstic, Meowstic spot because Meowstic is dangerous. Um, so he withdraws um, Mawile, sends in Tyranitar. Um, I kind of expect him to either protect or like do something like that. Um, he ends up going for the charm onto my Kangaskhan, put me back at minus one. Uh, so I go for the return onto Meowstic because I really want to get it off the field because I know it has charm. And he used safeguard, so I'm pretty sure he has swagger. Um, then Dragonite goes for the Dragon Pulse on that spot as well. And it's just not enough for the KO. Any has Citrus Berry, which makes matters even worse. So Kangaskhan hurt by the Sandstorm. And now my multi scale is broken by the Sandstorm, unfortunately. So at this point, I withdraw Charizard, or not Charizard, Dragonite, which is not a very smart idea because I know he's got some sort of speed boosting nature. Most people do when they run Scarf Titar. So I should have just kept it in and just taken the Rock Slide. It wasn't going to KO me. Um, so he ends up paralyzing Kangaskhan with Thunder Wave, which kind of concerning, but not too concerning. Goes to the Ice Beam on Tyranitar spot. So I guess it was a good thing that I switched out Charizard, or uh, sorry, Dragonite. Kangaskhan goes to the Rock Tomb. Um, I thought I was all creative slowing down Tyranitar with Rock Tomb, since it's Scarfed, but he thought he thunder waked me anyway, so like, whatever. Um, so at this point, I pretty much assume he's going to switch out Tyranitar, and he indeed does switch out Tyranitar, and he ends up switching in uh, Ludicolo. I kind of figured that was going to happen, so I went for the double target onto Meowstic spot with Return and Scald, so that I, oh, I can like win this match. Um, so Polito, Polito ends up being uh, immobilized by Paralysis. Oh, sorry, I went to, I went for the Rock Tomb. My bad. I went for the Rock Tomb onto Ludicolo spot. Um, I think I thought Ludicolo was coming, that's why I went for the Rock Tomb, so I could slow it down in the rain, which is good for Dragonite, at least. Um, so he withdraws again. Ends up sending in uh, Mawile. I almost scalded that spot, but I'm like, you know what, I just need to get rid of this Meowstic, because it's going to be causing me problems the whole match if I don't get rid of it. Um, ends up going for the Swagger onto Mawile, so now Mawile's at plus two which is incredibly dangerous. Um, so I go for the Scald onto Meowstic. I can't move from Paralysis. So then I go for the Return, and I can't move from Paralysis. And things just aren't looking good at this point. Um, so now Mawile Mega Evolves. At this point, I know the match is pretty much over. I don't have, really have much of a chance anymore. I have two Paralyzed Pokemon. I have He's got Safeguard up. He's got Thunder Wave for speed control, he's got Charm 
to get rid of physical attackers. He's got swagger for his own uh, Mawile. Goes to the play rough. Of course, I'm not going to survive a plus two play rough. And Dragonite, or sorry, Kangaskhan once again cannot move from paralysis. So now I send in Dragonite, and I really don't have much of a chance at all. I end up protecting, expecting him to just charm Kangaskhan and come in with a play rough on Dragonite. Um, he ends up going for the Thunder Wave on Dragonite, though, and ends up going for the play rough onto Kangaskhan, which at plus two, once again, is a very easy KO. So at this point in the match, I'm in big trouble. The rain has gone away, so I've lost my speed. Uh, I send in Polyrath. And the Mawile ends up protecting. I went for the double target onto that spot because that was kind of my only chance. Um, I went for the Hurricane, hoping to confuse it. And I went for the Waterfall. Um, so at this point in the match, I now realize that I have no chance of winning. Uh, so I just forfeit because I once again don't want to reveal my Polyrath's item since I haven't revealed it yet. And I haven't revealed uh, uh, Dragonite's item, although that's a little more obvious, it being weakness policy. Um, so that's round, game two of my top eight match, so stay tuned for game three.